What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. I'm a full-time CPA and in my spare time, I like to buy stuff and resell it online using Amazon, eBay, or Facebook Marketplace. I also love hunting for clearance deals and saving money online. And I really enjoy making videos for you to try to teach you how to you know, save money online and also make money and, and find you know, find cool deals as well. So today's video is gonna be about using the BrickSeek app to find markdowns in stores. On the app, it's called Find Markdowns by Store. Now it's kind of cool because what you can do is you can use this to look at all of the different stores in your area and see what markdowns they have before deciding to make a trip to the store and possibly save yourself a trip if they don't have anything that you're looking for. Now the thing is with the BrickSeek app, it's not always 100% accurate. So you could be looking on the app and it say that they have you know 10 of something in stock and then you get to the store and then maybe they just don't have anything in stock. So the app isn't always 100% accurate, but that's because because the store's inventory systems aren't 100% accurate either. But this can definitely give you an edge when deciding what stores you wanna hit, or if you're deciding on going somewhere for uh, sourcing, or if you're looking for deals or discounts. Say you're gonna to travel to another city or a new state, you could plug in a different zip code and look at the stores in that area to see if it would be a good place for you to go shopping. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull up the BrickSeek app, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get to the markdowns by store. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the BrickSeek app, and this is is what it looks like when you're already logged in. I'm logged in as an extreme member on the app. So we've got all the different deals pages right here. At the very bottom of the screen, you've got other buttons that you can click on. You've got deals, markdowns, search, notifications, and more. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the second button from the left that says markdowns. Let's go ahead and tap on markdowns right here. And then we've got markdowns by store, today's markdowns, popular searches, and local markdown feed. So today what we're gonna be looking at is the markdowns by store. So we're just gonna start with the first store right here. We've got Walmart, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the Walmart logo. And this is gonna populate with the zip code that you have selected in the brickseek.com website. So right now I've got 90210 selected, although that's not where I live, that's what I have selected. And then we've got a list view or a map view. So a list view is actually gonna list all of the stores in your vicinity and basically list how close they are to you. And as we go down the list, the stores get farther and farther away. You can also click on the map view up at the top where it says list view or map view. I'm gonna go ahead and tap map view and you can actually kind of move the map around. You can scroll in and see, plan a sourcing trip trip or a shopping trip if you wanted to hit a bunch of different stores in a certain area, this would give you a good visual to figure out where you wanna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to list view right here. If you wanted to, you could change the zip code. You could tap where it says 90210 and you could backspace and you could type in a different zip code if you wanted to look in your zip code or if you were gonna go on a trip somewhere. So you're gonna go to Hawaii or Nebraska or Ohio or something and you wanted to look in that area to find if there are any good deals there. You could change the zip code and then click the search button. So because we We've already got this area selected. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the first store right here that says View Markdowns. And this is gonna pull up all of the listings for discounted stuff at this store that I selected. So it has the store address up top. It says, pricing, pickup, eligibility, and stock stats are reflective of the time the markdown was detected by BrickSeek, noted by the last seen timestamp. So this is always scanning, it's always checking this stuff, but it's not always 100% accurate, so keep that in mind. So for the very first listing, we've got Woodwick, Trilogy, Mountain Trail, large hourglass candle, $10, save $12.26. It's in store, it was updated three hours ago. And right to the left of it, you've got the picture and then it says premium. So this is an eligible deal that is only being shown to premium and extreme membership. A free membership will not see this on the website yet. So scroll down a little bit more and you see we've got a fire station, a Lego set, that's something I would be interested in. 42 bucks, you save 28 bucks. It was updated four hours ago and it's showing that it's in stock. So you can kind of scroll through here. If you want, you can click click on something that says order for pickup and that would actually take you to a different app that would take you to the Walmart app. So you could select it there and actually order it and then just go pick it up. We can click sort and filter at the bottom of the page if we wanted to change it up a little bit, if you wanted to go to newest or discount, if you wanted to look at the type in store or for pickup. So if you're just curious about stuff, you just order right away and then pick it up, you can change that. You've got categories. These are all the different categories that are showing for this particular store. Go ahead and click done. And then brands, if you just wanted to look at, let's say Lego, you could just click on Lego and then hit done. And then it would just show the Lego discounts right there. You could also search if there's a specific brand you're looking for, you didn't see listed here. And if it's there, it would pop up. So I'm gonna click done. 
We're gonna click done. Then we're actually gonna go back out of this store right here. So this was an example using the uh, Walmart search by store. Let's look at a different store. We're gonna go back to markdowns by store and we'll click on Lowe's just to see. And it's the same kind of thing. They've got the store list. They've got the markdowns. We've got the map view. If you want to switch over to map view, it shows you all stores in your area by zip code. And that's about it. So they've got seven stores listed right here in the markdowns by store. And you can use any of those to you know, find the uh, markdowns for each particular store that you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this tutorial video helped you use the BrickSeek app. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out the BrickSeek app tutorial playlist that I have up here. You can also check out my retail arbitrage videos where I go out and buy stuff to resell online. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It really helps me and the channel out. We'll talk to you later.